You've got over 80 credits to your own, uh, to your own name. Uh, been a lot of productions, uh, a lot of roles, uh, some yep. of the most beloved series of all time, not just Babylon five, but you've been at mash Tron Hill street blues. Um, you know, the list goes on. I won't, I won't bore you with your own CV, but, um, <laughs> With so much diversity, if, if I can just uh, be parenthetically say, you know, this is what fifty dollars gets you. You know, I gave John fifty dollars, and uh, he brags for a little bit. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> Rest of you should pay attention. You know, he's a cheap day. That's Thank for you, sure. John, <laughs> my good and dear friend. It's good to have friends, isn't it? If you were looking for a hype man for free, I, I, I would probably be on that road. But uh, what, I wanted to, what I wanted to ask you about, though, is you've got such a diversity in the roles that you've taken throughout your career. And I was curious which one might be your favorite to play, not the specific part, but which type of parts do you enjoy more? Do you lean more comedic, dramatic, you know, anything, anything else? John, pretty early on, I mean, it's really about the writing. It really is. You know, they all, that that famous the famous if it ain't on the if it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage line about acting. That's really true. And if you're a, a, a real, uh, I mean, if you're a lover of acting the way I am, and I am someone who loves to act, it, the writer is really the the center. So whenever I'd get good writing, um, those were the things I liked best. So good writing first, and in terms of uh, characterization, Hollywood especially likes to put you in a little box. And so when I first got to Hollywood, it was very easy for them to make me uh, the lawyer, um, you know, the guy in the suit. I could play that stuff. Uh, and then they kind of got a feel, uh, if you ever saw it in my work on sitcoms, like on Barney Miller and stuff, they said, oh, this guy has sort of a maniacal edge to him too. And so they started to, play me but but they liked me as sort of a straight guy and then I got to a place where I was lucky enough that I would start selling them no nah, I don't really want to play the lawyer thank you I'm not gonna or I won't take the doctor part you know because that's what they would like me to do and, and that, that was a lucky thing I mean I when I look back on uh, Hill Street Blues Stephen Bochco he had cast me in a show before Hill Street and he had me as a uh, a college professor. Well, that was easy for me to do, you know, and it was with James Earl Jones. So it was really a great scene and I had a great time. But when he started to offer me a, a couple of lawyers on Hill Street, I said, no, let's wait for somebody more interesting. And eventually, uh, you know, Sid the snitch came along and, uh, you know, Sid had a lot more interesting lines to say, and you know, a lot, uh, there was a lot more to sink my teeth into too. And and uh, I had a great writer, David Milch, and uh, was really my writer on that show. And he would follow you around and listen to you talk, and then feed more of your own who you were into the work. So it was really great, and that's that's what I started to to live for. It was nice and I was lucky that I could always go back and play when they wanted to cast me as a straight guy, put a little rep tie on, you know, comb my hair back, put my glasses on, and, I, and there I could be the doctor for them or the scientist. But it was always more fun for me to play. It's Everyone will tell you it's more fun to play a bad guy than a good guy, too. So that's why that's my, my wife, again, reminds me that the very first time I read the script of Babylon 5, uh, I sat outside our house and uh, I came in and said to her, oh, I love this character. I'm, I really want to play this character. I'd really like to get it. And she remembers that. I don't remember that. But I love that he was such a baddie and he was so, you know, in the pilot. He was a pretty screwed up guy already. You know, he was in a corner in his life. And I love that. Maybe. Maybe that's why I relate to him. I don't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? In a real, in a real way, John, that's, you know, that, that's more like who we are as people, all of us, right? The, the idea of excellent being, I always am proud of the people who can play that, you know, I don't mean this in a bad way, but, you know, Sinclair and Sheridan, those guys, you know, they're, you know, heroes in a lot of ways. It's, that's hard to play. Excellent people, I call them. It's hard to be an excellent person. I'm not an excellent person. <laughs> you know, you 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 obviously aren't either. Yeah, am I, sir. <laughs> I know. But fairy, no one is, right? No one is, as we know. So it's much more fun to play uh, bad people, uh, troubled people, people in a corner. So that's what drew me to Londo, certainly. <laughs>